Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Comfort solutions for your Pimax Crystal or the Pimax Crystal Light coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. Let's take a look at some comfort solutions for both of these headsets. Everything that I'm going to go over today, I will post links down below in the description. Standard, you will have a facial gasket, a full face gasket, not just one of the little thin ones. They also have a 15 millimeter thick gasket as well, if you choose to go that route. Also on the Pimax website for either of the two headsets is the Pimax adjustable top strap. Now, some of you may have a love-hate relationship with this. Studio Form makes a pad to go on the top strap to make it a lot more comfortable on your head. The first thing I wanna do is go over a DIY comfort solution for those of you who have a smaller head or somewhat egg-shaped head like myself, because what happens with the full face gasket is I have a lot of clearance. I can just about fit two fingers on each side between the gasket and my head. Well, that poses as a problem because if you're moving around, the headset's gonna be moving on your head. Now, with the lighter weight of the Pimax Crystal Light, it's not as bad, but it still happens, not to mention the light leakage. So let me show you a quick solution as to what I did to the factory face gas. I went to Home Depot and I got this, which is window insulation or weather stripping. So you just go to the weather stripping aisle and they'll have tons of this. You're just gonna have to figure out which size is gonna work best for you. And then all I did was I made sure that one, that the gasket was clean of any oils. So if you have been wearing it, be a good idea to wash it before you try to stick the weather stripping on. Then you can cut out pieces to match the headset gasket. And this worked really, really well for quite a long time for me until Studio Form came out with their new facial gaskets. The new version of the Studio Form facial gaskets have been much improved, I will say, over the original version. The original version that Studio Form came out with was something just like this. However, wearing something like this did not give us enough support on the top of my forehead, or at least for me it didn't. So, they came out with a version 2 that is much, much more comfortable. The material on this is a very breathable fabric, somewhat similar to like the Valve Index fabric, but it's very, very soft. It almost feels like silk or something like that. But I can tell you it does not get hot on your face which that can be a problem if you get the leather version or the imitation leather version of the facial gasket. And that could potentially make you sweat a little bit more. Along with the front facial gasket, we also need a way to mold this to our face similar to what I did here. We need a way to take up the space around each side of the headset. Well, to do that, Studio Form has also thought about that. They have kits that can be purchased, and these are shims that are going to go behind the facial gasket itself. So if we take a look at the crystal here, hopefully you can see here how I have built up the shims underneath of the facial gasket, and I've done that on both sides evenly to give even pressure on both sides of my face. And as you can see, this will wrap all the way around and you can cut these to length. For my face, it is much more comfortable for me if I do not have any shims on the bottom of the headset and actually stop right below my cheekbone. The other thing I want to talk about is the back pad of the Pimax Crystal and Crystal Light. Now, like I've just gone over in a previous video, link down in the description, I did a comparison of the differences between the two headsets. On the Crystal Light, the back pad is much, much more robust, and the pad itself is in contact with more of your head than on the original crystal. Studio Form has also created a new back pad to go on here, 
which is also very, very nice. I am awaiting the back pad for the crystal. The padding material on the crystal is very thin compared to the padding material on the crystal light, as you can see here. So because of that, I would say if you have a crystal, the back pad from Studio Form is most likely going to make a huge difference in the comfort level of this headset. I personally do not have one yet. It's on the way. These pads look like they are completely sewed together, so nothing is glued on here. So far, in the time that I've been using these, I haven't had any issues and they've held up very, very well. Combo kits that you see on the screen are going to come with the top Apache strap, which I'll go over here in a second, as well as the front and rear foam pads. And they're going to give you a bunch, I think it's four packs of the shims. Another comfort solution that Studio Form has come up with is a pad for the top strap from Pimax. I chose to go a different way with this because. Personally, I don't like the feel of the Pimax top strap as much as I like the Apache strap. The Apache strap for me is much more comfortable, but there are some perks to having the Pimax adjustable strap. With the Pimax adjustable strap, when you turn the top knob, it's not only going to cinch down the strap closer to your head, but it also pulls the sides of the headset together, giving you a tighter fit around your head. The Apache strap attaches by Velcro, and it is a very, very soft material, but it is not hot, so I don't feel any heat buildup from this being on my head. Pretty decent padding, but what I like about the Apache strap, it has a very large contact point on your head, which makes it very, very comfortable when you're wearing that. Now, there is one other thing that may be of benefit to those of you who may feel that the headset is a little front heavy. Yes, they have gotten rid of a lot of weight in the front of the Pimax crystal, but they've also taken weight off the back of the crystal as well. So because of that, you still have a frontward you still have a somewhat frontward heavy headset. Studio Form has also come up with a solution for that as well. They have two different kits when you search for the counterbalance set. For me, I chose the seven ounce kit for the Pimax Crystal. Another thing that you're gonna notice when you're looking at these head gaskets from Studio Form is that they are not perfectly straight across. That's because these headsets are meant to bend around the headset itself. When you place the new gasket on your crystal, you want to try to line up wherever the lowest point of this headset. So we take a look at the headset. The lowest point is somewhere in here, and we're going to line that up with the very center right there. So we will make sure that the gasket is touching the bottom of our Velcro there. Then we're going to work each side around individually. So I'll first start with this side and I will just follow the line on the Velcro. All right, so now as you can see, everything is straight across. We don't have that arcing anymore. One other quick tip that I do want to go over. I know this is a comfort related video, but I think one of the comforts about a VR headset is that you don't have any fog buildup or condensation inside of the headsets. To help mitigate that, I have two solutions for you. One, we can use a product like this, which is Rain-X. Now you may need to use two applications to get the desired effect. At least that's what I had to do, but it works fantastically well. The other thing that I would suggest to do is to set your screen time to about five minutes. What you would do is turn on the headset, let it warm up for about five minutes to get the lenses up to temperature, and then slap that thing on, and you will not have any fog or condensation if you're using these two methods. Well, I wanna thank everybody for joining us today on the channel. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below in the comments section, and I'll get right back with you. If you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button to all my flight simmer friends around the world. Keep the blue side up and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching everybody.